Hi-ho, everybody. Kermit the Frog here to interview some comic books. Kermit, what are you doing? Uh, what's over there? Hmm? Huh? Cheese it. Arr! Hi, I'm Jason M, and I like to read comic books. That's why in the week of March 26th, I decided to read all the Marvel Now comic books that were published in the world. I'm going to give each of these a buy it, borrow it from a friend, or a skip it rating. But before I get to that, don't forget to go to Majorspoilers.com, the comic book website where they know that you love comic books, and we do too. Now enough of this jibba jabba and muppets, let's get on to some comic book reviews. A plus X number 18, and thus ends the Marvel team-up that was not really quite called Marvel team-up, and the Marvel Universe is better for it. Skip it, and skip this entire series. All new X Factor number five. This is the kind of issue that you don't see these days. It's not part of a six issue collection. It's more of a standalone on its own, but you know what? It's not all talking heads. It has some action in it. It has some great costumes. And you know what? It actually made me like Gambit. Strong dialogue with a strong action scene and a lot of great character moments. I didn't need to know what happened in the previous four issues. I jumped right in and I knew exactly. This is a definite buy it. Amazing X-Men number five. So Nightcrawler is back from the dead because he sold his soul to the Banffs. Yeah, that's right. You know the little cute little bamps? He sold his soul to them. Yeah. And this is why X-Men stories should always stay grounded in the prejudice of realities and never go to space and never go to alternate realities or never time travel. Because they're best when they deal with prejudice of human. Ed McGinnis art could not even save this, folks. This is a definite skip it. Avengers number 27. So the Avengers of this universe fight the Avengers of another universe. And there's all kind of twists and turns as the Avengers enter the multiverse. What is Jonathan Hickman trying to do? Turn Marvel into DC? Because, you know, DC's not doing too well these days. Unless you are an Avengers fan who has been following this title from issue one, I would say stay far, far away because you're going to be so lost during this issue. Skip it. Avengers Assemble number 25. The pretty meh training of Spider-Girl by Kelly Sue DeConnick throughout all the last three issues ends with a pretty meh conclusion until we get to the final scene where Captain America texts Spider-Girl with a text that says, please don't tell anyone I know how to uh, use a cell phone, a smartphone, and then he sends her the Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes theme song, that awesome kitty song. You know, this one. a great theme song and a great scene so that makes us borrow from a friend deadpool number 26 deadpool and hitler in an old marvel style yeah mm, no skip it guardians of the galaxy number 13 gene gray gets some new powers groot gets to meet some trees from earth rocket raccoon meets some raccoons tells him to put on some pants and cyclops goes off into space with his dad but you know what I liked it. It was had a lot of heartfelt moments, had some great art by Sarah Pacelli, and you know what? I dug most of the issue. And I'm not a big Guardians of the Galaxy fan, so this is a definite buy it. Hawkeye number 18, a very noir tale with Kate Bishop in Los Angeles solving the crimes and shooting the arrows and even doing a trick that we saw Hawkeye do, I think, way back in Hawkeye number four. If you love Hawkeye, you will love this issue, but if you have not been reading Hawkeye, go buy that hardcover, start from issue one, and buy it all till now, because this issue is a buy it. Indestructible Hulk number 20, the final issue. And you know what? This concept is about as much as I could love the Hulk as I could ever love the Hulk. The, the idea of Dr. Banner working for S.H.I.E.L.D. and unleashing the Hulk whenever he can is a great because I'm not the big fan of the Hulk carrying his own series. I always feel the Hulk should be like a supporting character. He should just show up whenever, maybe be part of the Avengers. But to carry a whole title, I've never liked a Hulk title, except for like, you know, Planet Hulk or World War Hulk. So, you know, stop all that in the comments saying that I hate Hulk, because I don't. Uh, I like those two. But, you know, Mark Waid did his best, and so he sends it off with a solid and a hell of a cliffhanger where Bruce Banner gets shot in the head. How are they going to continue this title? We don't know. We'll have to wait till next month when we begin to get all Marvel. I don't, did that, that didn't even make sense. I was going to say make mine Marvel, just make mine, you know, borrow from a friend. Iron Patriot number one. This is a great idea for a series. Put Rhodey in the Iron Patriot armor, which has a great design. Rhodey's a great character, but you know what? It has some shades of that 1990s Steel series with uh, John Henry Irons because he moved to Washington, D.C., he lived with his dad, and he had a niece that worked on mechanics. That's exactly what happened in this issue. Now, this issue could have been great, although it only feels like half an issue because there's like a mid 
cliffhanger that sort of happens at the end and you kind of feel like you didn't get your money's worth and some very sketchy pencil work so this is just a bar from a friend my friends miracle man number four you should not be watching this video right now you should be buying this book go buy it right now miracle man new avengers number 15 cosmic gobbledygook on top of more cosmic gobbledygook if you can understand what the hell happened in this issue you deserve a nobel peace prize for comic book reading which i am inventing right now i'm going to send right to switzerland to tell them to put into the nobel peace prizes for everybody else this is a skip it for the nobel peace prize winners this is a buy it origin 2 number four somewhere in the editorial retreat i imagine that the planning for this issue went like this i know what we can do for origin number two tell me tell me we can have wolverine stab a girl with his claws again i didn't didn't I see that in wolverine like number 70 no it was a different girl this time it'll be a blonde he still stabbed a girl with his claws. So what's, how is that a very original origin? Ha <laughs> ha, you and your wordplay writers. Now chop chop, go, here's your check, go write that issue. That's what happens, skip it. Savage Wolverine number 14, this is a issue that was written and drawn by Richard Eisenhoff. Now, he has some great art, and you know what? He actually pulls off a very interesting 1930s noir tale with Wolverine in it about, you know, bootleggers, and it feels very much like the movie Lawless that were Wolverine in it. If you like Wolverine, you will dig this book. If you don't like Wolverine, I would say this is just a borrow it from a friend. Silver Surfer number one. This is the most 1960s surfer cosmic power Kirby Crackle book I've read in a long time, and you know what? Dan Slott and Mike Alred create a comic book masterpiece piece that will just suck you in and never let you go. This is a definite buy it. Superior Spider-Man number 30. Here it is. Spoilers from this point on. If you don't want to know anything about Spider-Man, go away right now. Three, two, one. Peter Parker is now back. Yes, the goblins have been destroying New York and through it, Peter Parker regains control of his body and Doc Ock sees that the only way that he can save Anna Maria, who he truly loves, is to wipe his memories out of Peter Parker's body, which he does. And he has a very nice heartfelt scene with Peter Parker and Peter Parker cries when Doc Ock dies. And in the last page is uh, Peter Parker takes off the Superior Spider-Man suit and puts on the regular Spider-Man suit and goes out. We have one more issue until The Amazing Spider-Man, but you know what? Um, this is a great little epilogue to this series, and I think will be remembered as one of the stronger Spider-Man runs. If you love Spider-Man, this will bring a tear to your eye. This is a buy it. Superior Spider-Man team up number 11. This team up series is the perfect companion to the regular series because it is a flashback tale of Doc Ock and Green Goblin and how the Green Goblin uses the love of Doc Ock against him. This is great. A great companion. Buy this book. Uncanny Avengers number 18. Future Havoc and Future Wasp fight Future Magneto and the Future X-Force in the future where they all wear Tron-inspired outfits. And then suddenly Kang and Doom 2099 and a whole bunch of other crazy cosmic Avengers show up. Yep, that's right, folks. Marvel has now become Silver Age DC where all these properties cross over and go crazy with each other. But you know what? It's still a pretty good issue, so I'd say buy it. And now it's time for my pick of the week. If you only have enough money to buy one, one comic book, this is the comic book you should buy. And that comic book is Silver Surfer number one. That's right. Give the Silver Surfer a chance. Mike Alred art. Dan Slott brings a lot of humanity to this character. And the panels and the line works are brilliant and amazing. You will not regret buying this comic book. And that's all the Marvel comic books for March 26th. As always, you can go to Majorspoilers.com, the comic book website where they know that you love comic books. And we do, too. They have a lot of great podcasts, a lot of great articles. Go check them out. Help them out. Support that great site. And you know, I have a podcast, too. It's called Geek history lesson. You can find it on iTunes, you can find it on Stitcher, you can find it on Tumblr, and you can find it on Facebook. Links are in the description and some links are on the screen right now. Each week we teach you about a character of pop culture and so you can learn all in your ear holes. Next week is Winter Soldier, so if you want to know about that guy right before the movie comes out, get on that podcast. As always, leave in the comments, tell me what you are reading, what you hate about this video, but what about you like about this video, whether you like that I can't stumble over words, whether I can't talk, tell me below, let me know. I internet love you. I'm Jason Inman. Please like, favor, and subscribe. Share this video with your friends. And as always, I will see you next week. As always, reading comic books because I love comic books as much as you do. And let's make the whole world love comic books. I'm Jason Inman. Be seeing you. Captain America also cheats on his women. He doesn't get pop culture references. What else we've got for wireless? Radio. And he doesn't know how to dance.
No, I still don't know how to dance. Hi, it's our very special time after the credits. How are you folks doing? I went down to uh, Megacon last week. I was actually there for Playlist Live, but I went down there and I got to meet Chuck Dixon, which was great, and I got to meet Ron Mars, my favorite. He created uh, Kyle Rayner, one of my favorite Green Lantern runs of all time, Kyle Rayner, and it was very cool. I got to talk to them, sign to them. Where were you? Are you guys ready for convention season? Who's going to Emerald City Comic Con? Wish I could go, but I can't. Hopefully I will be at WonderCon, so if you are going to be at WonderCon, you should let me know. You can find me on the Twitters, at Jawin, J-A-W-I-I-N, and let's chat. Let's say hi. Let's hang out. Let's talk. Let's talk about comic books. Say hi. Tell me you watch these videos. I don't know if I'm doing these videos in a vacuum or not. It's always nice to hear. And uh, by the way, if you want to know about Kermit, um, go to Wikipedia and Google the Muppets. <laughs> Uh, because, uh, you know, he's a nice little fella, and he might show up again and again as a co-host. So, there you go. It's I'm going to keep it short. I'm going to keep it short. I'm going to keep it fresh. I'm going to keep it snappy at the end of this. I uh, hope you all enjoyed the Captain America TAC ad. If you haven't seen it, it's on my channel. There's a link in the description. There's probably a link after this video. I'll probably put it in. It's in the end card. It's in the end card. That's where it's going to be. Go check that out. Uh, share it with your friends if you haven't. I'm probably going to do more of those. I think that a pretty good response getting on comic book resources, so let's do more of those yeah all right hope you're all doing well i'm reading comic books let's do this thing let's go watch some movies let's go see some conventions let's just keep on mumbling until this video just cuts hard to black <laughs>